Hello everybody, I'm Blazer Rebecca, and welcome back to Voices from the Sea. So now we're seeing a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful sea of shooting stars. Aw, I just, I wish for it to last forever. Well, considering that you just said I wish for it, those are shooting stars. What is high beyond those clouds? I wonder. Day 7. This might possibly be a final day, I don't know. I don't know how much time has passed. It's only until the sun rises above the horizon before I realize how long it has been. Kansas, it's morning. Yeah. Isn't it enough already? Shouldn't you be heading home? Your mother would be worried if you- Yeah, she might be a little concerned about where we are. I don't care. What about your father? Aren't you gonna fetch him today? Like I said, I don't care. Yep, they only care about themselves. Why should I care? Hmm. Cantus, you know that's not true. You do care. You talk about many things. You always end up talking about your family. Are you sure you don't care about them? I was inches away from retaliating. Yet, as the song was stuck in my throat, I just couldn't say a word. Hey, Cantus! Maris has a brilliant idea! Let's play a game! A game? Yep. Look at how many things your mother has done for you. What? Why do I why do I need to do that? This is the final round. There won't be another one after this. Will you do it? Please? I don't understand why she asked me to do something like that. Nothing will come out of the shroud. It's just a waste of time. Those those eyes that look straight at me. They are so sincere. How can I refuse? Fine. I'll play with you for the last time. Things my mom has done for me, huh? I know, I know. She gave birth to Cantus. True. Don't state the obvious, it's embarrassing. But it's super important. Without her, Maris wouldn't be able to meet Cantus. You wouldn't exist, Cantus. Plus, it took a whole mo nine months and a very painful delivery. Oh my god. That's an incredible achievement. Yeah. Making delivery. Achievement! Don't you think so? Yeah. How can I say a thing if she puts it that way? Okay, it's Kansas' turn now. Are we really going to do this? Feels like I feel like I'm gonna die of embarrassment. But we just started! Yeah, don't be a baby, Kansas. Come on, put your hands up and start counting. Surely your mother has done a lot more for you. I guess. Well, she cooks for me. She likes she likes to make my favorite food, chicken pot pie, which you never finished before I just recalled. Sunny! Really? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That sounds delicious. It is. Yes, exactly. She can't sing, but she sure knows how to cook. Maris is so jealous. Maris would love to eat her cooking someday. That would be nice. So what's next? Hmm. She also cleans the house. I don't like it when she touches my stuff, but she does keep the house clean. How about laundry? That too. She's a clean freak. She has to make sure everything is in order. She just can't stand still. I see. Speaking of which, she bought me these headphones. And the shirt too. Yeah, she bought me so many things, including a bunch of things I don't need. You're so spoiled, Cantus. So strange. I was against the idea in the beginning. But once I started, I just, I couldn't stop talking. Before I knew it, the list just keeps growing and growing. Every time I thought I would run out of things to say, something new pops up immediately. Oh, that's right. The one who brought me here to the beach was... <gasps> oh! Cantus, look! This is Mom's favorite place. It's beautiful, isn't it? I hope you like it too. Mommy, Mommy, can I bring it home? <laughs> Don't be silly. Hey, you could bring this home instead. She's also pretty, aren't they? For long, I run out of fingers to count. Cantus? What's wrong, Cantus? <gasps> oh, I didn't realize my tears were streaming down my cheeks. Oh, this is precious. That's right. It was Mom. She's always there. Cantus. I'm sorry! I'm really sorry! It's all Maris' fault! Well, wait a second. Why are you 
you crying too? I'm sorry. I just wanted to make Candace smile. Why well, I just wanted to make Candace happy. But all Maris is doing is make Candace sad. Maris is a total failure. No. It's the opposite. No words can express my gratitude. Thank you. I'm alright now. Huh? Maris doesn't get it! It should be okay now. Hey Maris, will you tell me who you really are? Well... Maris isn't a ghost. Okay, we'll have to speculate more about that in the next part. See ya!